Also today, a jury decided Bo Rothwell, the man convicted of murdering his pregnant wife, will spend the rest of his life in prison. That sentence officially handed down today. Rothwell was found guilty of the 2019 killing of his wife Jennifer in their St. Louis County home. Now we take a look back on her family's two and a half year quest for justice. It was November 2019 when Bo Rothwell took to Facebook, posting to ask for help after he said his wife Jennifer went missing. He said he filed a police report and the search was ongoing. But it was just days later that St. Louis County police say Bo, through his attorney, approached police offering to cooperate and lead them to Jennifer's body. It was found off Highway 61 in Lincoln County. It's horrible for things to end this way, but our thoughts do go out to, to, to the victim's memory, her family, her friends. She had people that, that cared for her, that loved her, and that's, that's important uh, as we move forward. Court documents show 28-year-old Jennifer was pregnant and had searched on her phone what to do if your husband is upset you're pregnant. When police searched the couple's home after Jennifer disappeared, detectives found rubber gloves, paper towels, and cleaning supplies in the trash. Surveillance video at a nearby store showed Bo buying cleaning supplies the day before he reported his wife missing. They also found blood on the carpet in the home and the smell of bleach. Bo was charged with first-degree murder. At his trial, it was revealed Bo had been having an affair with another woman. Prosecutor said Bo struck Jennifer in the head with violent homicidal force and crushed her skull. The defense admitted that Bo killed his wife, but claimed it was in a heat of sudden passion that he killed Jennifer. The jury deliberated for three hours and 20 minutes and then decided Bo was guilty of first degree murder, as well as tampering with evidence and abandoning a corpse. Jennifer's family declined an interview after the verdict, but said in a statement, in part, the St. Louis County prosecutors obtained justice for Jennifer through the hard work and dedication of their police officers and supporting staff. St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell and County Police Chief Kenneth Gregory offered their thoughts after sentencing. We know we can't bring Jennifer back or her child, and so um, as far as our roles, we want to be able to bring justice and closure. We work a case like this, we want, and we put in all the work that we have done to get to this point. We want the max that they can get, and obviously the judge gave that to us. Since Rothwell was convicted of first-degree murder, Missouri law requires him to spend the rest of his life in prison without the chance for parole. Jury 